Hi, having successfully downloaded the app uh, MI onto our smartphone, the next step is to actually come along and configure it so we can remotely access the DVR. So just a quick recap on the, on the process here. What we've done is in one of the earlier videos, we've simply come along and we have set up port forwarding on our router, which means that we've simply given gateway access for our DVR to be viewed by the outside world. We've downloaded the app onto the phone and in this um, process here, what we want to do is we actually want to actually just come along and configure the app to give access directly in on the DVR. So what we're gonna do here is I'm simply going to tap on um, the play button here and it comes along and I have the option here of adding on a DVR because there's none set up. So we have the device name here. So we could leave the device name or I could delete it here and just go and say DVR and um, I'll just say video um, uh, room, okay? As we're doing this in our free TV video room uh, and I will come on to the next one here. Now here's an interesting point. What I should be adding in here is the external um, IP address of our router. So from anywhere in the world we can actually log in and we can actually see um, the, the DVR remotely. Now I'm not going to type that in here because it's a bad idea to give people your external IP address. So what we're going to do is we're just going to give our local uh, LAN router because we're actually filming this inside the video. But other than that, uh, all the steps of this is exactly the same. So if you were on your smartphone and you were um, on the Wi-Fi area where the DVR is, you could just type in uh, what's my IP address. It'll give the IP address of the router and you could use that. In our case, I'm just gonna type directly in the actual LAN one, which is, uh, and this is pretty uh, common what I'm typing in here, but not how you'd set it up obviously uh, in a normal way. It's 168.0.0. and the port here. So the mobile port here is 100. Now, depending on the type of the DVR, it, it'll have, we'll say, a certain port set up for mobile viewing. So on the DVRs that we're using in this video, uh, the port is 100, and the username is admin, and the, once again, as I showed in previous videos in relation to this particular DVR, there is actually no password on it. So we can simply hit, um, we'll select, we'll say it's a four channel one here, and we just go save and it's into our list. We can just click on it now. And if I go for channel one, we can actually come along and the DVR that I've actually set up behind here focusing on one of our great set top boxes is actually being viewed. So that's the full process. Once you get your head around the port forwarding, what the ports are for, downloading the app, etc., this is really, really easy. And hopefully with this video guide here, you'll be able to buy a DVR, see it step by step all the way through. And the, this entire part of the process probably take only a couple of minutes uh, to get it up. And then you can view your DVR from anywhere in the world.